This video is brought to you by Magic Spoon. Mickey, cool shirts, bro. Let me see them, let me see them. So far we got... Oh, Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's. And then Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime. You think I could stretch it up so it'll fit in? I'm gonna say no. Hey, this one's gonna la cost you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, did you get, which one did you get? The Transmorphers? Transmorphers. How much? How much? Five bucks. Five bucks, that's good. It's not vintage vintage. I think it's a remake. Yeah, but it looks at least still like early 2000s vintage and not like 2022 vintage. I have to ask, how much are the plushies? How about the games? How about the Wii? How much is the Wii? 25. You know if it works? Yeah. How about the controller? But before we keep game hunting, let me take a quick 60 seconds of your time to tell you about today's sponsor, Magic Spoon. If you've been watching this show for any amount of time, you know that I take health pretty seriously. I've been running about six miles a day for about 10 years now, and I've been eating Magic Spoon long before they reached out in this sponsorship. If I had to pick a favorite, it's a tough call between cocoa and peanut butter, but I'm always gonna go with peanut butter at the end of the day. It's just good stuff. Although my daughter would argue fruity. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb. Now that may seem like I'm just reading off a bunch of numbers and nutritional facts. Well, I am. It's really important because for a guy like me, these play into a serious part in my life. Just outside, you can hear my son's best friend who's gluten free take these numbers as consideration and they're important to me. And also my little niece, Piper, who's only six years old, who has type one diabetes. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use promo code PIXEL at checkout to get $5 off any order or go to magicspoon.com slash pixel. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason at all, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So again, click the link below and use the code PIXEL Pixel for five dollars off, or go to magicspoon.com slash pixel to save five dollars today. Thank you again so much, Magic Spoon. But now, all right. So last booth was great. I ended up picking up the Wii. He did it for twenty bucks, which I did it because it was the GameCube compatible yeah. one. So I got that, and then I grabbed a PlayStation Four controller for basically like seven bucks when all said is done. And then he only charged me 10 bucks for these. No banger titles, but basically paid like two bucks each. So there's the ones I got all for 10 bucks. Not a bad deal. A couple of them are sealed. And then Ricky picked up. Some plushies. This one's actually pretty easy. It's a, it's a 2001. That's a sick one, dude. So I had to. I mean, 15 bucks, but I was still like, okay. It's not you bad. knew. I had to have yeah. it. All right, just picked up the GT 2002 Jet Set Radio Future Combo Pack. And I literally bought it just because Caleb, like in every video, says this is a quick flip. Oh, you think? No, I'm not keeping this. This is to keep building my collection. Good find. <laughs> Look at all these sealed PHSs over here. They're actually semi-sealed. Oh, they're all semi-sealed? Yeah. When we were here with Rick, this is what his this was his worst thing. That was his whole experience. <laughs> his experience. And then here was Caleb's right here. Money talks. <laughs> Money! <laughs> We almost oh, missed these. <laughs> we almost missed these. I'm gonna. Ooh, Spy Hunter. What's that one, Ricky? GTA and. Oh, that's a cool one. Giant Wars. Lost Planet. Lost Planet. That's, a good, that's a keeper. Quake 4. Hey, how much are the controllers over here? Mm, controller, that's just 20. How about this guy right here? Fine. What about the games? You have a price? Or... Do you have a price on the games too? $10 each or 2 for 15. 2 for 15 or 10. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. So I got at the last booth, I got this Mad Cat. PlayStation 1 controller set. So I thought it was a cool pickup. And then he gave me this, which I just thought was really cool looking, but I just think it's a beautiful look right here. So cool. All of it for 35? All of it for 35? Not crazy low, but worth it because it's super cool. Like Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is that? It's a game. It's here, the ET board game. Yeah. Now you can pretend to help ET go home. That's cool, you should check it out. You should see. This is 13 bucks. 
13 bucks? Yeah. It looks cool. <laughs> Let me see what is it, show me. So it's E.T., the extraterrestrial, a Parker Bros board game. So Ricky and I were debating on getting this, debating. We were like, I don't know, I think the pieces are gone and all that, and it was a little like questionable, but then I opened it up. Ben's here, by the way. Beautiful. And I was like, will all the pieces be here? But it's completely never been used. It's all sealed inside. These are all brand new, brand new. Everything's looking good. So Ricky, tonight we're, we're playing E.T. E this is an absolutely sick vintage sweatshirt right here. He's probably gonna ask like 50 bucks. How much for the sweater? 15? It's actually not bad. These are cool, really cool. Actually, these old flip up hats. I might even do this one for 15 just for me. What are you looking at, Ricky? That is really cool display, though. It would go good with my other one. Yeah, that really would, man. What do we got over here? I don't know anything about a lot of this type of stuff, the anime VHS, but it's pretty rad. This old Bulba, what is it, Ivy Sword? Wow, I said Bulba. How about the little pokies? Five bucks each? What about Frankenberry? All right, maybe I will. Maybe I'll have to bundle it. Did you do 20 instead of 25? Hey, hey, get that guy out of here. <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, dog? Good to see you. gonna film for us yeah. <laughs> all right check it out first thing i got it's the coolest thing ever i didn't know it existed the whole hogan thunder mixer you want to be healthy and in shape you, i don't think this has ever been used before the Hulk Hogan Thunder Mixer. If you're under 18, make sure you have your mom or your dad's permission. Both of these, Ricky told me to pick them up. I don't know if they were worth it or cool, but Ricky's like, yeah, I got kind of like a bold deal type thing. And then one of my favorite things for 15 bucks, that's this vintage sweatshirt. He actually wanted more for it when he walked up. He's like, you sold that for 15? <laughs> but this is sick. I love this. The skin game is obviously a golfing sweatshirt, but Ricky, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it real quick. Your best find is that Steve Miller shirt. Is it? So this is a Steve Miller shirt, which by the way, good grief, this artwork. By the way, if you want to sell this, I would not sell this and buy it off you if you want to. Steve Miller, fly like an eagle, but it is actual vintage. It is single stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's also got this 25th anniversary collection edition Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Really cool, Beatles. man. Got me some Beatles. Some Beatles. Ooh, oh, wow. So I was like, nice. okay, I can't say no to records. Why do the guy that likes <laughs> Eagles? You know I love Eagles, Ricky. The funny thing is we were just singing that song this morning. Like, literally. <laughs> Stupid Ricky. <laughs> Here, you can move around a lot. Let me just take off my jacket. I mean, I guess Ricky buying that Eagle shirt in front of me, how would he know that I like Eagles? It's not like I'm wearing a NRA Eagle hat or this, or oh, let me stretch, I gotta stretch. Oh, just, oh, oh, oh Eagle tattoo. I can't what? remember, who got you that shirt though? Yeah, Ricky bought me this shirt. <laughs> Thank you. I knew about the Eagles. Simpsons car seat covers. <laughs> you know how cool you would look with those? What is that, Ricky? It can be boogie. Oh, that's right, it can be boogie. That's sick. Ooh, some skateboards. I do love me skateboard. Uh, nope, cheapos. My parents actually have this. Yo, look at that Paramount jacket. How much is that Paramount jacket? Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this thing is so sick. It's 60 bucks, whoops. Which I feel like isn't even really that bad. Oh, I love it. I really do love this. Oh my gosh, look at the inside too. Sheesh, that is, oh, it's a banger, it's a banger. Oh my gosh, look at the tag too, Paramount. Uh-oh, Ricky, a Budweiser towel, and what's the other one? Oh, a pillowcase. Need your little pillowcase. Give you 20 bucks to sleep on that tonight. It's a little moist, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ask how much. Ow. Ow. All right, so I ended up picking it up. I got the Turtles. It is a 1990 Mirage Studios turtle pillowcase really cool looking obviously 90 turtles come on beautiful stuff so i'm buying god of war collection it's Ooh, I mean, semi-sealed semi-sealed but i had to get this blue oyster colt belt buckle i mean blue oyster colt dude that blue oyster colt one is the sickest bro Whoa. ricky and i so ricky and i used to be at the beach together all the time driving to the beach listening to blue oyster colt so, <laughs> so good what do you think of that oh no <laughs> quick ben point and laugh Ha 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 Semi-frightening? What? <laughs> What's this Wait, why do you pull it from there? I don't know. 
Genesis Model 3, man. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I forget how small these are. They're actually, they're so many. I was talking about this in a video recently, fun with numbers. But if you look at Mario is missing on the Nintendo, the original Nintendo, what a trick to play on kids. Like it does not look like a learning game at all. Yeah, right. Luigi's on the cover. He's like looking for Mario. Bowser's pulling in Mario. Like, this is going to be an epic adventure. I learned a lot from that game. Did you actually learn stuff no, from it? No, I learned from this one. Fun Ricky said, instead. uno, dos. <laughs> <laughs> How much are the Mario games, these ones? 15 each? All right, just picked up both of these for 20 bucks. So not a bad deal at all. He had these at 15 each. He went down to 20 pretty quickly, pretty easily. More excited than ever to take these home and learn how to count with Mario. I don't even know if that's what you do with these. I have no idea. You're gonna like this. Yo, that is actually super sick. Is that old? Yes, it is. What do you got, what do you got? Wayne Manor. That's actually super rad. Look, so he just he just brought this over here. Look at Ricky. Got some giant turtles uh, towel, no, table covers. Ricky just bought this shirt. He said it's gonna wear it later too, tonight, to his family gathering. <laughs> Not the mama right here, baby. Look at this, Ricky. Look at Juan just staring at it. Oh, He's just waiting for me to put it down. Do you want this one? Yes, I do. <laughs> here you go, you can have first dibs. Yay. First diblets. I rebuke thee. <laughs> oh, look at this. See, we got like all the uh, the Power Rangers accessories right here. Oh, oh, look at all the turtles ones right there. There's like a hundred good VHSs. That's actually sick. Dude, get the Power Ranger. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. Hey, Ricky, you're owing me money. Uh, anybody? No? Okay. Good effort. I gotta see how much. I'm not even sure. What else we got in here? Ooh, a lot of Batman stuff. Yo, bubble bath. I know. Yo, what in the world? Ricky's loading up on Power Rangers and Turtles. This Power Rangers Pogs. Power Rangers Pogs. So All right, so I'm looking at the stamp set right now. This one's kind of sketched to buy because I feel like it's all worn out on the inside, so I'm gonna pass on that one. But maybe this. What? Oh, this is sick. Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Just picked up these bad boys. The original Mario Bros. movies. Little booklets. I don't know if I'll keep these or not, being honest, but they are super cool. And people dig this kind of stuff. Again, even, oh, that makes it so much cooler right there. How much is the uh, the Atari 80? And is it all the stuff in there? Not sure. I mean, take a peek, Ben. You never know. So Atari 800, man. This is something I never see around. Well, the graphics are probably some of the best you can find. The Atari 800 computer not only allows you to play games, it also allows you to learn math and history. Only one computer lets you enjoy this library of over 2,000 enlightening and entertaining programs. Atari Home Computer. The more you learn, the more you can program, and there's just no end to it. Ready? Man, I never see those. Oh, it's an Atari 800 XL. Yeah. Interesting though, I mean. Do you know if it works? Still interesting, you know? Yeah, right. There he is. Look at that beautiful, just legendary man bun right there. Oh my God, look at his shirt though. Did you uh -huh. see that shirt? Oh my God! Can't believe. Oh, there he is laughing. What's up with that shirt? Come on. Who brings a power pack shirt to the swap? Oh my god. What's up, bro? Oh, sorry, your hands are your hands are full. Your hands are full. You're Mighty number no. nine shirt too? Yeah, you like that? I saw one of those on uh, eBay the other day. I almost pulled the trigger on it. Yeah, yeah. You should have, bro. Look at Ricky's little single stitch hook shirt he found. That is so sick. For a buck. We're on that. Alright, so this is why I tell you guys we like the swap. When we say we've built a community out here, this is not a lie. This is not a lie. This is what it's like being out here. Okay? I didn't give you my consent. What'd you, what'd you buy, Ben? I got me a Commodore 64. Dang, Nintendo 64's alternate version. I've been waiting on that joke for 10 years, but I've never found a Commodore. Finally. Oh, oh, Ricky found a stack. Anything, Ricardo? There's another, I can't pick up another board game. I'm gonna die if I do. There's a Star Trek board game over there. Why don't you buy that thing next to you? It looks like it wants to kill you. Just picked up the PSVR, Rick and Morty, virtual Rickality on the PlayStation 4. Seven bucks, I got it for seven bucks. And if you are curious of value, the last one of these sold, what did I say, 25 bucks? There you go, I don't have PSVR. This is like a buck. 
I'll buy it. Let me see that. I'm not saying to take it, but. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. It's, that I mean, is as. I mean. It's not too bad. It'd be a little bit of work. There's Pokemon stickers on the that's back. Why, that's the only reason I was like, oh, how much is this guy? Five bucks? How about this controller right here? Four bucks? Uh oh. I <laughs> fell into the burning ring of death. The red, red ring. Nothing. Yep. Is this for the PS2 or for the PS1? Got the hard drive right here. Ten. There's another PlayStation right there. That one's like clean though. In the middle of a currency store. Ricky and I have been digging through these shirts for a while, but we didn't film too much of it because I know you guys aren't all into shirts, but these are all 100% single search, every single shirt in here. And it's tons of the good stuff, like the big artwork, the giant, I mean, 1992, we got AFC championships over here. Show, show. Look at this Bakerfield, Bakersfield Speedway, and I'll show you guys the one I got in a second, it's on my back. What I got was actually, Ricky, you'll have to pull it out from way there you go. A beautiful, Ricky, this is probably one of the best shirts ever. You're welcome, bro. This is a single stitch. Ricky, Ricky, let me take it. It is a single stitch. Look at the back. And if it doesn't fit, then I will be giving it back to Ricky because it was definitely to keep, so. And then Ricky picked up a bunch as well. Uh, that bike week one we showed, which I think is, could not believe bike that week. was, could not believe this was single stitch because it looks so clean. Dude, and then we got this. Oh, that is sick, dude. Oh <laughs> my gosh, look at the colors. That's what, that's the old. Single stitch. That was the best one. Ducks. I I think, Single this, stitch? I think this will do better than you think for selling because it's vintage and it's sports and it's single stitch and it's not white or black. Yep. So you have those odd colors. The one I actually really wanted. Oh boy. Yosemite Sam single stitch. Yeah, dude. Sick stuff. <laughs> but all in all, that is it. We are out of here. Adios. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hey guys. Woo.